Hi, this is Anne. I'm the digitizer at A Creative Medley, and now I'm writing at makealltheprojects.com. I've been using motifs in my projects for almost a year now, and I love how they can take a simple shape and make it really unique. I'm here today to show you how you can use shapes in Embrilliant Stitch Artist Level 1 using the shapes that are included in the software. So first I'm going to go to the Stitch Artist pane. And I'm going to use the library to make it simple. So I'll just take this nice cloud shape and I think I'll make it a little bigger so we can see this nicely. So this is about a, let's make it a four and a half by four inch cloud. So I'm going to just go ahead and make this a motif fill. And right now it just looks like it's filled in with regular fill. So I'm going to come over here and I'm going to add a motif. So I can choose from the cross stitch menu, knots, larger, there's a whole bunch here. So I think I will just choose from the squared. Let's see what will... This looks interesting. So you can see that and I'm going to zoom into one. So this is what it looks like just as it was put into the software. I can adjust the height so that each one is bigger that way. I can adjust the width. So you can see actually what I would consider height and width is actually the opposite here because this is your inclination line. So this is actually the top and this is the bottom. So when I add, when I increase the height, they're going to get taller this way. I could just change my inclination line so that it doesn't mess with my head. Now it's on a nice little angle here. But I can just change my inclination line. So now if I do taller or shorter, it's going to affect the vertical. And if I adjust, it'll affect the width. I can add another motif. So I can say I want that one in there too. And now I have alternating lines of first the squared 11 and then the squared 4. And you can play with that and create all sorts of incredible combinations. You can include curved. So that just added this inclination line here. And I can make it curve that way. I can turn it and curve it over here, which makes it not that attractive. <laughs> so you can just play with it. See what you like see what you can make, but motifs allow you to use an interesting fill and it clips it to the shape of your item. In Stitch Artist Level 3, you can create your own motifs for use in your projects, and that's a whole new level of fun. I hope this video was helpful. If you click on the subscribe button, you'll get a notification whenever we add a new one. Those in Brilliance and Stitch Artist links below are affiliate links, and if you choose to purchase through those, I get a little commission, and that helps keep this channel going. You can see more of my writing at www.makealltheprojects.com. You can find all kinds of fun embroidery projects, including the stockings and bibs and burp cloths that you're seeing right now at www.acreativemedley.com.